Hi, I'm Josh Carving, and welcome to another DBX examination where we're going to take a look at the most recently announced DBX and determine who would win if it were done in an actual research death battle. Um, so for last time, we had Goku versus Gon, which didn't really surprise anybody in terms of who won. I was actually surprised it was as close as it was. Like, it was, what, like 65% for Goku? I honestly expected more. Um, the animation was... it was good. Again, I'm not too invested in either one of the characters, so it's like... And speaking of not being terribly invested in either one of the characters, we have Danny Phantom versus Ben 10, which really makes the research aspect of this fight very easy. Yeah, no shit Ben wins. Like, he can go Alien X and... He honestly doesn't even really need Alien X. There's a lot of his uh, aliens that would be capable of dealing with Danny with very little issue, like feedback, and yeah. Um, so it's pretty obvious that in a researched fight, Ben would win. But the question is who I think is going to win the vote, actually, because that's a lot more interesting. Um, you'd be surprised looking at the comments on the um, uh, the Gone vs. Goku one, just how many people are essentially like s voting for Danny out of sheer annoyance with the Ben 10 fan base because yeah Ben 10's a good show but it's gotten a really bad rep right now with um with how its fans acted for the uh the whole Ben versus Hal debacle um, yeah, fucking go back, like, three years and tell yourself the Ben 10 fandom is gonna be one of the most insufferable ones in all of Death Battle history. You wouldn't believe it. Just, where did that come from? But that's apparently the case, and yeah, it's... They're a really, really, really bad fan base in terms of they ignore everything that gets said in favor of just zeroing in on the things that they like. Um, now, I'm not saying that everyone who debates using Ben 10 or um, fans of the series are like that. Just the extremely vocal minority who basically watched one uh, Kuro video and thought that the whole matchup was wrong and yeah, just bad time. So, to that end, I'm actually voting Danny, just because I don't think the Ben 10 fan base deserves it after how they acted. They can have a win when they deserve one. When they've acted nice for a little bit. Um, but yeah, honestly, the this one is really open and shut, because you have literally a universal feat. Again, they're both characters that we've already had in Death Battle, so a lot of the stats even speak for themselves at that point. A, a universal character against, I think, what town level was, like, the highest that they put uh, Danny at. So, it's it's open and shut, definitely. Um, though that said, uh, we actually did just get the uh, Death Race series as well, that had the uh, Batmobiles against each other. Um, I, I, do, I find it really interesting, the uh, branching out that Death Battle's doing with, like, different kinds of themes and research, not research, etc. Um, I hope Death Race does well, because it's, it's kind of a funny concept. Um, and it's being done by Devil Artemis, so that's good. That's really all I've got to say for this one, though, so until next time, I will see you guys.